doing people random here so today we're gonna pop open this new old stock uh, it's a 20 year old uh, American lock when it was actually uh, still made in the USA uh, you can tell by the logo on the front still says USA all the new ones uh, are embossed differently and just say American lock registry trademark so and on the back to read the date code the Y will be a February uh, F is a 9 and uh, so February 90 and then H I believe is 7 so February 96 so we'll see if she still functions after sitting on the shelf for that long and she does we're gonna see what changes have been done in the last 20 years to our uh, beloved lock Click at a pin four. Oh, it's got a good turn on the core on pin one. I'm just looking for something that's gonna. Pin three is a possibility. It did give me rotation. So pin 4 is not, no rotation, pin 5 is no rotation, yeah you can just see just if you look closely, it's a little bit of turn on pin 3, that'll be a, a spool pin. There we go. So that is our American 1105. Now the first lock that I ever attempted to pick, um, which was more than a master three was uh, I brought home this uh, uh, cut off they cut off the shackle on 1105 and I thought well hey I can pick a number three I can pick this 1105 I had no idea what serrated pins or any type of security pins were and I was uh, sadly mistaken because it sucked and I never got it open you definitely have to work your way up to them uh, they can, can be can be frustrating. The key is just to take your time. Light tension too. Light tension was the one thing you uh, you learned the hard way. Because if you over tension it, it's just going to bind up. Because that's just, that's the job of the security pins, just to bind. And if you under tension it, then you won't be able to put it in at a place. So there's that and my follower. I could teach my follower to follow me. There it is. Oh yeah. Always turn the key counterclockwise when you put these through because if you don't, uh, the actually J engages the cam this piece, and it's half moon on one side, so it'll allow your all your pins to fall out. Trust me, I've done it numerous times. Okay. Let's see what we got. Oh yeah, you can tell. This thing's new. These are sliding right out. Okay. So all the bottom pins are serrated pins. All the key pins, I should say. And let's see what's in the top. And oh, serrated, serrated. And there's our spool that we found in number three. Serrated. And serrated. So that one was supposed to be like that. I'm not going to pull the springs out, but they're going to have brass springs. One thing I am concerned about is the lock sitting there that long. Um, are the springs any good? They still have compression in them, but I'm not too worried about it. So, let me get a 
a new American lock pin. Now this is a PCT12 uh, cylinder rekeying kit from Master Lock, which I purchased uh, about, I'd say five months ago. So I can tell you right off the bat, those are different. You might not be able to see it on camera. And there, those are different too. I mean, uh, let's see. I'm going to use one of those. I just won't worry about the key pins. I'm more worried about the serrations. And you can... Uh, you can feel it in my hand, definitely, when I put the tweezers on it. That the serrations in the older one are definitely deeper. Let's see if we can... Yeah. I'm not sure if, yeah, if you can see that on there, but... The serrations in uh, the one on the right hand side right there, that's the one out of the 20 year old lock. The one on the left is, is a new style American one. So they have gotten a little uh, a little sloppier, but still a fun pick either way. And uh, so that is a 20 year old American. Support your local locksmith. Take care.